by Cal Newport. Welcome to this journey of discovery, where we explore the compelling concept of deep work. Penned by Cal Newport, this fascinating book delves into the importance of focus in an era where distractions are rampant. In a world where we're constantly bombarded by a barrage of information and interruptions, maintaining concentration and productivity is no easy feat. Yet, it's these very skills that are vital to creating real value in our work and personal lives. Newport's Deep Work provides a beacon of hope, offering practical solutions to navigate the stormy seas of distractions and thrive in an increasingly complex world. As we embark on this exploration, we'll delve into the book's chapters, discussing the strategies and insights that promise to transform our approach to work and life. So let's delve deeper into the chapters of this transformative book and unearth the secrets to increased productivity and focus. Did you know that deep work is now considered a superpower in our economy? Let's find out why. As we delve into the first chapter of Cal Newport's insightful book, we uncover the value of deep work in our economy. In a world where distractions are just a click away, the ability to focus without interruption becomes a rare and valuable skill. It's not just about being able to concentrate, but to immerse oneself fully in a complex task and produce high quality work in less time. This level of productivity is what distinguishes the good from the great, the ordinary from the extraordinary. As we move towards a knowledge-based economy, this ability to work deeply is becoming a crucial skill. It's the key to unlocking your potential and creating value in whatever you do. Indeed, mastering deep work can set us apart in today's distracted world. Now that we understand the importance of deep work, let's explore Newport's rules to achieve it. Rule number one is work deeply. This is all about giving your undivided attention to a task. No multitasking, no distractions, just you and the task at hand. It's about creating a sacred space for your work, whether that's a physical location or a specific time in your day. By doing this, you encourage your brain to enter a state of flow where you can produce high quality work in less time. Next up is embrace boredom. This rule might sound counterproductive, but it's actually a golden nugget of wisdom. In our world of constant stimulation, we've lost our ability to be bored. But boredom isn't a bad thing. It's actually a state where your mind can rest and recharge. By embracing boredom, you're training your brain to resist the temptation of distractions and focus on the task at hand. The third rule is quit social media. Now, this doesn't mean you have to delete all your accounts. Rather, it's about being mindful of the time and energy you're investing in these platforms. Social media can be a major source of distraction, pulling you away from your deep work. So take a step back, evaluate your usage and make changes as necessary. The final rule is drain the shallows. This rule is about eliminating or minimizing low value, shallow work activities that take up your valuable time and energy. This could be unnecessary meetings, emails that don't require immediate attention or tasks that could be automated or delegated. By draining the shallows, you're creating more space for deep work. By incorporating these rules, we can truly harness the power of deep work. So what happens when we integrate deep work into our lives? Let's find out. When we embrace the philosophy of deep work, we start to see remarkable changes in three key areas, productivity, creativity, and work satisfaction. According to Cal Newport, the author of Deep Work, these are the pillars that not only support but also enhance our professional lives. Firstly, let's talk about productivity. In the whirlwind of modern life, distractions are a plenty. A ping here, an email there, and suddenly we've lost hours of our day. Deep Work, with its emphasis on focused, uninterrupted work, helps us reclaim those lost hours. We achieve more in less time, which is the essence of productivity. Next, we have creativity. Often, our best ideas come when we give ourselves the time and space to think deeply. By eliminating distractions and dedicating ourselves to a single task, we create an environment where creativity can flourish. Deep work encourages us to dive into the depths of our minds, where innovative and original ideas reside. Lastly, there's work satisfaction. When we engage in deep work, we become completely immersed in our tasks. This state of flow where we are fully engaged and losing track of time has been linked to increased satisfaction. 
After all, there's a certain joy in giving a task your all and seeing it through to completion. Now, let's consider some key takeaways. Deep work is more than just a technique, it's a mindset that requires commitment. It's not about working longer hours, but about making the hours we work count. It's about choosing depth over breadth, quality over quantity. It's about recognizing the value of focus and the power of undivided attention. In the end, the benefits of deep work extend beyond our professional lives. It teaches us to value our time, to respect our mental space, and to seek depth in an age of surface-level distractions. As Newport rightly says, deep work is not just a productivity tool, it's a philosophy of life. As we wrap up our journey through deep work, let's recap the key points. We've discovered that deep work is not just a skill, but a superpower in our increasingly distracted world. It's about honing our ability to focus intensely on cognitively demanding tasks, producing real value, and thriving in our personal and professional lives. We've also delved into the rules of deep work, learning to work without distraction, embrace boredom, and make time for leisure. We've seen how this approach can have a transformative impact on our productivity and overall well-being. In a world where distraction is a click or a swipe away, cultivating the ability to focus with intensity is more crucial than ever. It's not just about getting more done. It's about getting the right things done and done well. Remember, in the face of distraction, the ability to focus is our greatest ally. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.